Hi, and thanks for joining. We're going to take a look at your Studio Data Architect and its support for the Hadoop Pie. I will show you reverse engineering a Hadoop Pie set of tables, to show you how to create and edit Pie tables, and then forward engineer this to Hadoop Pie. I'm going to start with reverse engineering. So we bring up Data Architect. I'm going to go to File, New, and choose the option to reverse engineer, and then click on Login. I'm going to choose the native direct connection and choose Hive from my list. I'm going to enter the data source name. You have the option here to use Kerberos authentication. I'm going to hit next. From here you can select your database that you want to reverse engineer. I only have the default so I'll select that and click OK. I'm going to hit next again. Here is a list of tables that we can reverse engineer. If there are certain tables that you don't want to reverse engineer, just highlight those and bring it over to the left. In this case, I'm going to reverse engineer everything. So I'm going to move everything over to the right. I'm going to hit next. Since Hive doesn't support relationships, we won't be able to infer any referential integrity on this page. We do have the option to infer domains. We can create a domain for each of your columns in this database. A domain in ER Studio Data Architect is a reusable column. So if you have a column that in multiple tables that are always the same, then you want to use a domain so that when you make a change, you only need to do it once instead of multiple times. I'm going to hit next. You want to keep this as a relational database. You can apply a naming standards template here. A naming standard template allows you to expand any abbreviations on the physical side to a friendly name on the logical side. Now I'll hit finish. Here you'll see that we now have a logical model and a physical model. The logical model is database independent and your physical model is geared towards Hive. I'm just going to concentrate on the physical model today. Up on the top you have your table button which will allow you to create new tables. So we can create a couple of tables here. If you want to add some relationship lines for viewing purposes you can do that here this will not generate any relationships on the database itself here I'm going to double click on this publisher information table and I'll show you what we can do here here you have a column called logo with the data type of map you have the pub info column with an array uh, data type here these are specific data types to hive there are also a few Hive specific tabs in the table editor as well. We have the storage tab, which contains all the storage information required by Hive. We have the bucketing tab. And here we have the skewed by tab. These tabs are all specific to Hive. You can also take a look at the DDL tab to take a look at the DDL that you'll see generated for this specific table. I'm going to click OK here. Once you're ready to forward engineer this, you can go to database, generate database, and this will generate a DDL script for you that you can use to create the objects in your Hive instance. On this page, you can choose whether to generate a single ordered script file or into multiple files. I'm going to hit next. Here you can choose what objects you want to generate in your DDL script. You also have the option to, here you can choose what objects you want to add to your DDL script. You have the option to add some drop statements, and if you add any pre or post SQL statements, you can select those options here as well. We also have our table storage information. So if you added any information in the storage parameters, you'll want to check these boxes here. On the general tab, we can close names and backticks if you want to do that, and you can choose the delimiter as well. We can click on the SQL preview. This will give you an idea of what the SQL will look like. So here we have the create tables information. And if you want to make any changes, you can close this and come back and make those changes here. Once you're satisfied with what you have, you hit next. And this will give you a summary of what we're doing. And if you hit finish, we'll generate the SQL script. So by default, we generate this in our Universal iSQL, which is packaged with the Air Studio. You can change this in the tools options uh, to choose a different application if you want to use that to launch and run your DBL script. So I've quickly walked through how to use ER Studio Data Architect to reverse engineer, modify, and then forward engineer a Hadoop Hive instance. Thank you for joining. For more information, here's a link to our website.